the story of the Sahara is about more than a North African desert. It's the story of our planet. We are only just beginning to understand the complex relationships that link distant parts of the globe. But the Sahara plays a central role in the Earth's fragile ecology. The key is a single location, one with amazing life-giving properties which transform the globe. Lake Megachad is a dried up lake bed in the southern Sahara. With a surface area of 12,000 square miles, it's the dustiest place on the planet. For 6,000 years, it has been empty, dried up by a rise in global temperatures. But it has left behind the desiccated remains of billions of microscopic freshwater creatures. Rich in organic matter, they turn the Sahara's dust into a super fertilizer. And from this lifeless desert comes nutrients for the globe. Every year, more than 500 million tons of this dust are blown by the trade winds out across the Atlantic. In the Caribbean, the beaches are replenished each year with 90 million tons of North African desert. In Miami, the dust refracts the light in the upper atmosphere, creating the distinctive red sunsets. And it feeds the rainforests of North and South America, where the super fertile dust keeps alive an entire range of plant and animal life. But this lifeline could be about to change, because the Sahara may be about to face yet another catastrophe. Global warming is disturbing the climatic balance north of the equator. It has the opposite effect from what you would expect. You think it's going to get hotter, but it seems that it's going to get wetter. As the temperature rises, the effect will be astonishing. Because the hotter the air, the faster it rises, dragging in cool, moist air from the south this will create more clouds and rain. Within decades, the Sahara could be transformed into a tropical jungle. The desert itself is a force on this earth. It is more than just a collision of global geology. While it seems the Sahara has been violently torn up and rebuilt many times by the enormous power of our planet, The Sahara is a law unto itself. Even creating its own weather systems. Thermals are what give anything that flies a lift up. The heat from the sun warms the ground, which warms the air above it. But different types of rock or sand reflect the sun's heat unevenly. The hot air above the sand heats faster than the air above the rocks, which becomes lighter and rises. A thermal is created. And this, the hottest desert in the world, does indeed create the largest thermals on the planet. But as with so much in the Sahara, Nothing is what it seems. The heat is so intense, and the difference between the sand and rock is so extreme that these thermals are potential killers. And just like the thermals, 
You can't discover the truth until you experience it.